Hello again, this is Hiro Uzuki with part 21 of my Valkyria Chronicles Let's Play. Continuing the tale of the greatest ninja turned tank commander Kakashi and the lovable scams of Squad 7. So uh, last time, Silvaria went all tactical nuke on the Citadel. Wiping out both it and the army. Oh, and also General Damon. Throughout my life, I have been told not to speak ill of the dead. So I will just say this. General Damon was a man. Sort of. And he is now dead. And that is good. All right, so with that out of the way, let's get right into this. Holy shit, is that a land battleship? I don't suppose we've got one. Are the propellers in the back really necessary? <laughs> of course, it's the clothing wildwood is but a tender flower patch before the Marmota. I feel like he's Your compensating grace. for a lack of something. A massive explosion was reported at the Citadel at Girlandio, sir. Our rear guard and Galia's primary force were both caught in the blast and obliterated. Yeah, shame that. I see. Selvaria has performed her duty. That's it. She loves you. You told her to die. And that's all you've got to say? Feel something, you bastard. Now nothing remains to stay our hand. Ladies, continue the be careful capital. who you fall for. If the guy you fall in love with tells you to die for him or some bullshit like that, just walk away. There are plenty of other fish in the water. It's not meant to be, it's not meant to be. Okay, so. There's no way we haven't seen this. I mean, they mentioned it's in the last chapter. The Empire's ultimate weapon passed unhindered through the thick of Cloden's woods. Yeah, it's bulldozing the place. All but bird and beast, and continued its you don't say. march north. Okay, the so Castle here's a plan. Get me all the bird and beast you can. Leaving the former site of the Citadel at Girlendio behind, the militia raced to the capital's southern gates to intercept it. Whether or not that's a good idea remains to be seen. Everyone, we've received intelligence on the weapon coming through Cloden's forest. The report identifies it as one of their most tightly guarded development projects. How exactly did they keep a tank that massive out of sight? It closely Until matches now. plans for a terrestrial dreadnought. Okay, so I was right the first time. It's a battleship. A land battleship. It's heavily armored and carries a host of large caliber cannons. A battleship on legs. Treads. Leave it to the imps. It's one ridiculous tank after the other for these people. Yeah. Does, do we happen to have one of those? Or maybe a nuke? Furthermore, it is likely that Maximilian is aboard the Marmota in person. Of course he is. He probably thinks he's untouchable in that thing. Are you serious? How do you get there so quickly? Uh... Bullshit writing? I don't know. Regardless, we need to stop that thing, or the capital will be in danger. Any ideas? Oh sure, just gotta stop it. It's a battleship, boss. How are we gonna stop it? I don't know, board it? I'm spitballing here. I'm open to suggestions. We'll be cooperating with the Rand Grey's Royal Guard in effecting Operation Maiden's Shield. So we can expect these Royal Guard guys to be out there helping us, right? Our job is to lure the Marmota into a canyon the guard has lined with mines. Of course we are. Because everybody hates Squad 7. Beyond the mines, they'll be concentrating all of their firepower to stop it. Leading it into a minefield, huh? So we're the bait. We're always the bait. Unfortunately, yes. With Galia's army vaporized, this plan is our only real option. Even if the army hadn't been vaporized, we'd still get stuck with the unenviable position of being bait. 
Once they get out on open land, there's no stopping them. There are easier it ways to, to tell somebody that you hate them. A lamb dreadnought. I still can't even imagine. Vulcan. That is his name, at least his sippy name. His real name's Kakashi. Now then, Alicia, speak, what's best wrong? girl. Let you us hear your words, dead. your thoughts, your opinions. You're being silenced. That uh, that's making me a little concerned. It's nothing. I'm fine. Now let's go beat us up a battleship. You make it sound so easy, but then again, you're a magical girl. And I am very much concerned now. Alicia. Natural girl was silent. What do we got going on here? Highness, the Empire's dreadnought approaches at great speed. Thank you. The Royal Guard and militia were deployed in a tandem operation. But the outlook is grim. The Royal Guard is going to be out there actually helping us, right? We understand. We shall join them on the field. Fetch here the Royal Armament and tell the Castle Guard to assemble outside. Your Highness, where oh, do you this intend to go? I'm kind of surprised you're still here. I, I have expected him to bolt. While the nation crumbles around me. It is the office of the Archduke's duty to fight for the safety of its people. Ah, yes. But that would be inconvenient. What's that supposed to mean? I ask you, make no foolish choices. Or, what is the meaning of this? What's going on? You are a precious bargaining chip alive. So he's a turncoat. It's not do to allow you to simply leave. Bargaining chip? You plan to sell our nation to the Empire, then? Probably. Perish the fort, dear princess. Huh? Galia is about to be reborn, a new child. As a glorious kingdom with me as its king. <laughs> this is why you never leave your domestic policies and diplomatic affairs to one person. They get delusions of grandeur, like this asshole. I hope he gets his comeuppance. We're about to commence Operation Maiden's Shield, together with the Rammed Grease Royal Guard. They're actually going to be out there helping us, right? And you're putting us right in front of the tank. There, are they actually going to be there? Well, yeah, I mean, have you seen the size of that son of a bitch? It's gotta weigh at least a couple thousand tons. Anyone caught under that thing? <laughs> no medic in the world can fix what it's done to them. My, what lofty expectation and high hopes you have for me. Okay, so if we're basically running away, that giant ass battleship. Probably don't want to bring too many people along. Uh, besides, there should be some uh, base camps for us to use, right? Maybe, possibly, hopefully. If I need anybody, I can call for them. here means allowing them into the capital. That must be avoided at any cost. Good luck. That's assuming this plan works. We have to divert that monster away from the capital. Yes, that monster that is right behind us. So that's it, huh? They weren't kidding with that battleship stuff. What, you thought they were? Remember, our mission's just to lead it along. Avoid combat where you can. Of course not, Eddie. Have you seen the size of those cannons? I'm not about to try any funny tactics right now. And don't forget to keep your distance. Get run over by that thing and it's all over. It looks like it would absolutely run over our tanks. Way ahead of you. 
yeah. Should have expected that they have some uh, forces deployed. Besides the, you know, the uh, massive. Who said you could dodge? Prick. Unless uh, these are things I should start destroying now. Entering combat. <laughs> oh, great, Scott. Oh. Ow. Make sure to keep your distance. Our ass is getting filled with lead. Did we have to start this close to that thing? My turn, okay? It sunk 58 bullets into the back of my team. When this thing's over, I'm going back to the farm. Status report, soldiers. Once more with feeling. We got this asshole answer here. You can wait your turn over there, you pass. Who are these guys? Yes, right away. Remember, he who is last is most likely dead. So, uh, you know, don't be last, and don't move slow either, otherwise we're dead. Don't be dead. Let's do this thing. If you think that lance of yours will actually get through that armor, then, you know, you guessed. Leave it to me. I thought about uh, saving to CP until the turn, or for next turn, but, uh, well, that shock trooper's still here, and he's just a little shot up. We've got the chance. Ha! Nice. Didn't dodge that one, did you? Okay. He didn't move. Kind of shocked. have been installed next to the gully wall. Detonate them with a gunshot. They'll cause a rock slide that may slow the enemy down. Do you know this with absolute certainty? But won't the person setting them off also get caught in the rock slide? They're shock-sensitive time bombs. Once you arm them with a shot, there's still time. Shoot them, then pull out before they go off. Their range is wide, though, so be careful. How wide are we talking? Oh great, it's gonna start lobbing mortar at us. Back. Entering combat! Yeah, I see you back there. We absolutely can't allow them to reach Renzi. Run! I can't believe you actually made that shot, Largo. Good on you. 
Honestly, I thought only Jen could pull up. I'm on. That's rather wide. Your body's yours to use. Let's go ahead and fix it. Big ass mine. We have barricades. Moving out. <laughs> Can't beat the smell of fresh soil. Might need a tank to get through there first. Just a thought. Leave it to me. that off maybe I uh, know we'll, we'll save the two CP in this mission I think we're just gonna be doing a whole lot of moving so it'd be nice to have some extra CP on hands for emergency in case I'm not moving fast enough as it is. Maximilian, you're still overcompensating for a lack of something. And I think I can take a guess as to what it is. Sir, there's a fork in the gully. I've noticed. The straight path leads away from our target. We need to make them turn. In that case, why not use the explosives on the straight path to block it with debris? So I need to blow up the other one, I think? Right. Yes. Good plan. Let's give it a try. To me. Let's have the uh, tank bulldoze through some of these lines. Enemy sighted. Hi. Fire. Damn it. Enemy sighted. Sir, sniper and support them. Okay, Alicia. Moving out. You can move the farthest of anybody. So I need you. Try to divert the motor. Oh, I can't make the shot from here. Neat. Don't even think of dodging. It's an inanimate object. How was it gonna dodge? Run. Can't beat the smell of fresh soil. Fingers crossed this works, otherwise we're hosed. Lower the more motor to the rendezvous point. Entering combat! Up. 
you need some backup. I'm We're not... the ones in front of a goddamn battleship here. If anyone needs backup, it's us. Yes, right away. Uh, no, we do not. Power the enemy's numbers. Stay close up there. Okay, no matter what are the chances that I can get you to drop a grenade without having to get in front of that shit. have the three stooges. There. Also, my tank was nearly hit. I think I need to get a little bit coming down. Enemy course change confirmed. Okay. Looks like we made him turn. Okay, let's keep guiding that thing home. To a minefield. And I question whether or not it will actually work. I'm sorry, I don't mean to sound skeptical. I don't mean to sound pessimistic. Here we go! But honestly, I'm not entirely sure that a minefield's gonna stop me. I want to take more of the obvious. Been waiting here. Run. Run like your life depends on it. Don't let it provoke you. Yes, right away. Send Homer into it, get rid of the AT mines. And to uh, blow open that uh, barricade. It's too dangerous to stand near it. Target sighted. Absolutely can't allow them to reach Rangrees. Please hurry. I'm afraid they won't wait for us. Oh. Click. I'll wipe the smoke rings off your mud soon enough. Oh, God. Try to keep that front line strong. Homer. I am seriously debating whether or not to smack you right now. Please, please don't let it reach Rangreen. To smack you when we get finished with this off. I know you're back there. Get out here. It's not an opponent you can win against. Stay away from the front end. 
It's too dangerous. Shit, I need something that I already know. Move the mother to the rendezvous point. What is the enemy up to there? Let's do this thing. Saw, this number's for you. Here I am having to waste two grenades on my butt there. Leave it to me. That lance was the only real problem. Here. We dust him, and uh, yeah, no more threats. Unless the, you know, for story reasons there isn't. Also, I'm kinda shocked they didn't send their Lancer out to, you know, hit me. Not that I'm complaining much. I appreciate any chances I get to not be shot at. Run your ass off, Largo. There, that's tough balls. And calm down. Preparing to take action. I'm not expecting much here. Yeah. Holy shit, he actually made that? I kind of expected our gay guy to be the only one who could make such shots. Body's yours to use. Moving out. 
Maybe? Possibly? It's not an opponent you can win against! There. Okay, set to blow. Run. Preparing to take action. Green. Pull it together. Pardons. Uh, My turn, okay. Alicia, do you think maybe you could uh, get my turn? Maybe. Did we see? Galleon unit sighted. way through, well, everything. Uh, okay, so... <clears throat> Something tells me we don't want to be a fan. Call it a hunch. Give the frail boy a moment, he'll get these, uh... Mine's it's designed. not an opponent you can win against! Hold on, I'm on my way now. Don't let them break through! Stay close out there! Margo, Rosie, get your asses in gear. Vegetables! Because, uh, you know, steam on treads heading this way. And you do not want to be in front of that thing. All units, check your current position. I'm on it. I just don't want to get risked. Just, I just don't want to take the risk of the action. Way ahead of you. Stopping it. Here we go. Stay away from the front end. It's too dangerous. Brace for the and uh, my turn, okay?
I tell them that there's no point in dropping those mortar rounds, but let's face it. With artillerymen, they just want to watch the world burn and they want to see things explode. You don't say. Let's block their course with a rock slide like before. Already did We're it. We're not far I from think. the Royal Guard's minefield now. Hang in there, Sevens. And of course, they weren't actually here to help us. But why would they be here? I mean, after all, we're just the people who are taking care of all the Let's dirty work, throwing our lives in the line of fire to save everybody. complete. We managed to lead the Dreadnought here. It helped that there weren't so many enemies to deal with along the way. And my spoils from the sniper, who was unusually tanky, but didn't fire a single shot. Now, is that minefield actually going to stop that thing? No, of course it doesn't. only brought three tanks against that thing. And all of its guns. Would you look at that? That's We're an exercise in futility. That thing and, it ain't flinching. and now it's pretty much clear of the gully. Well, boss, what's your plan? No wonder of nature up your sleeve to fix this one, Lieutenant? Hey, Do we want to try boarding it? Person out there. Alicia, what are you doing? What are they thinking? Are you gonna what? are you gonna destroy that thing That's with your magical girl powers? She's going to attack that thing all by herself. That's insane! What does she think she can do against that juggernaut? She's got magical Alicia! girl powers, so who Wait knows? Where are you going? Forgive me, Wilkin. I shouldn't have just left. Not without saying goodbye. What are you getting at? I've been thinking this whole time, Wilkin. Wondering why I was born like I am. A Valkyria. Uh, where you go if with this? If I weren't a Valkyria, things would be just like they were before, wouldn't they? No. But no. That is one way. But I have found another. I know how I can give my life as a Valkyria meaning. What are you talking about here? What are you gonna do? Power. I can stop this thing. Okay. I'll stoke my life fire into a blaze. Okay, I'll how's how about this? Maybe don't do I'll that. Rule my friends and everyone else in Galia. Okay, counter argument, you don't do that, and we try and figure something else out. You've got all those magical girl powers. Maybe you do something else that doesn't involve you going nuclear. Still alive there, Kakashi. Maybe don't get too close. Or, you know, just... I don't know. All the shots that are fired that do not. I never wanted this! Nice throw. I am Valkyria, not a woman. Don't say that. 
No. That life has ended. Don't say that! Alicia Melchior is dead. And don't say that! Just stop saying things. They're dark and depressing. What? That blue flame, she wouldn't! Fool. He's scared. What does she think to do? Sacrifice herself and take the Marmota down with her? Fine. 45 degrees to port! All ahead full! Now! Please don't do what Alicia. I think you're gonna do. Welcome. Why are you here? Leave! No! I'm destroying the Marmota. Only I can do it. I'm one life. My death could save a whole country! Alicia. Don't do that. You're wrong. You could destroy them with your power. But that's not real victory. Listen to Kakashi. Real victory is something we must claim for ourselves without relying on your power. Well, at least not rely on the power that it causes you to, you know, die. Welkin, I can't. Valkyrian blood runs in my veins. I'm not human like you are. So, different species can still, right. you know, it's true that you live together. That we don't have. We have all kinds of video but games so that what? prove it. You're still yourself, Alicia. Regent Kakashi. Kind. Bright. A future baker. Alicia, has any of that changed? Kakashi, there are three words you, you need to say in this moment. Power. Just fucking say them. But you're still the same girl. Well, can I? You mean so much to me, Alicia. I will not let you come to harm. Three words, but I just say them. I will protect you. Say it, come on. Alicia. I love you. Finally! Alicia, once this war is finished, will you be with me? It's not the perfect engagement ring, but... I would be with you. It'll work. Together. Always. Yes. Always. Go for it, you've stud. I'm sorry, just whenever I get invested in characters like this, I kind of become a sucker for this kind of stuff. A thousand pardons. But this is so worth it. And besides, it's not like Alicia didn't do anything that uh, monstrosity. I mean, we can't ignore the fact that she put a hole in it, and there was an explosion. She clearly did something. Welkin. Alicia. So, uh, when's the wedding, you stud? Ooh, you're making me blush over here. Oh, shut up. But, uh, you sure that's wise? You know, this being a combat zone and all. Uh, What's it to you? Hey. Just look at the happy couple. And I get the big scoop. Oh, shut up. This is not the time or place for that. that. Is. I would if it were anyone else. But for you two, well, I'll keep my big mouth shut. Just this once, you hear? Let's keep it that way. Alicia, welcome back. She never left. Thank you. All of you. I missed you so. You didn't You didn't oh, go anywhere. You this, boss. <laughs> so, welcome. We'll hear your orders. Oh. We go to hunt the Marmota. We'll head straight for Rangrees. Okay. All right, everyone. Let's get moving. So, uh, quick Chapter question. What exactly happened the to the Royal Guard? To I saw the massive shelling, and common sense dictates they got annihilated, but... We didn't see anything beyond those three tanks, so... Maybe... Ah, who am I kidding? They're dead. Well, whatever. And you know what? This actually turned to be a lot shorter than I thought it would. So... I'm still gonna cut off here because, you know, it's a good place I need to stop. Thanks for watching the video. If you enjoyed it, consider hitting the like button, subscribe button, leave me a comment, and hitting that bell to stay updated with more videos from me. The tale of Kakashi and his best girl will continue in the next chapter.
the next episode. With that, this is Hiro Uzuki signing off.